Hey y'all, so welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. And today, we're gonna be trying to build the world's smallest manned single stage to orbit vehicle. And this design is, is similar to a conventional aircraft. Cause like, okay, you can make a lot of single stage to orbit vehicles and make them in rocket form. And of course that's gonna work. Cause like, I mean, when you're in a rocket, you're basically just sitting on an engine and a tank of fuel and you're just on top of it going straight up. And I feel like plane style SSTOs are slightly more complicated, which makes it a harder challenge, which is what I wanted. So in this video, we're going to be building that. We're going to be trying to build the world's smallest SSTO plane. And yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to take off full throttle because uh, this thing does not like being on the runway. I think it's because, it, oh yeah, look at that. It's not straight. Okay. Well. Fly, 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 fly. Boom, it's up. Okay, now it's time to reach orbit. Okay, let's go straight vertical. Let's see if we have made the smallest single stage to orbit vehicle. Let's see. A bad single stage to orbit vehicle. Oh, 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 we're gonna break 1,000. I mean, 10,000. Oh. Boom. 10,000 meters. Boom. Orbit. We have made it to space. So, looking back at that clip, I should have said that because to me, an indicator of me making it into space in Kerbal Space Program is the music playing. And as of now, I don't hear any music, so technically in my book, this was not space. I have no idea why I said that, but yeah. This thing is tiny, guys. This thing is absolutely tiny. It's literally, it's literally the smallest cockpit and one fuel, one fuel cell and one thruster section. This thing is tiny. Look how, look how, look how big it makes the curb turban and cue the Look music so yeah turban. so now we have made it into space well in my books we have okay this has to be the smallest uh, single stage to orbit vehicle but let's see if we can actually land this thing let's do a, a quick time time speed speed up the time boom we're entering the atmosphere okay let's turn SAS on let's go prograde yeah, so I should have turned on prograde because basically when I turned on prograde, it turned this thing into a missile. Let's see if we can pitch back up. Nope. Nope, we are going straight down. Yep. Okay, if we can do a semi decent water landing, I will be very happy, but. This thing does not want to pitch up. I think I need to move the the front the wings a little bit more forward. Maybe that maybe that's gonna help. So first of all, we're gonna adjust the wings a little bit more forward. Uh, right so. Like right there. I think that's perfect. And we're also gonna push this a little bit forward as well. About right there. We're gonna add the spin at the very end. Well, actually, I'm gonna add it like right here, F F16 style. And I think I'm just gonna. Uh, this is what it is. This is fine. This is fine. And then I gotta add some vector controls. Like, come on. Oh, that's a little unusual. So I just need one on the nose. Okay, two on the nose. Let's make it tight. Two on the nose. Okay. Like that, like so. Two on the bottom. One on the side. And then... Let's see. And then one right here. I, I don't like the way this looks, but it's fine. It's fine. Wait, actually, let's go a little bit bigger than that. Let's go with... Wait, okay, okay, actually, that could work, so... This is fine. We'll go standard drop. Oh, wait, let's turn RCS on. 
Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. I wonder if I can take off with this little throttle. Because that would be perfect. Take off. Go up. No, no. We go straight. Go fast enough. Then turn left. Never mind. Okay, what can we do? I. <sighs> okay, let's make this straight. Boom. Actually, boom right there. This looks like a penguin or something. Okay, but I think this should work out. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use the strategy on our first successful attempt, full throttle. Well, half throttle, and we're just gonna go straight up. So SAS, RCS, half throttle, boom. Hold up. It's gonna go up. There we go, and we're up. Okay. Now we're going straight up. Let's decrease the throttle just a little bit. Okay, I for sure was not taking off as fast as last time. Because last time we were at like 700 meters per second on our surface speed reading. But right now we're only at 500. So we're definitely not going faster. Too short, too short. I think, uh, I think I might have made it a little too heavy adding all this stuff. Take off. It's more stable than before, that's for sure. Let's go medium landing here. And then we'll just put them up here. Actually... Okay, this could work, but it is it is very very skinny. But this this could work. Wait, hold on. Let's see if I can get a bigger one. Just like this. Okay, technically this is still the world's smallest SSTO if it makes it into orbit. Cuz all I added was bigger wings. Okay, this is like Mark 5. Let's see if this is better. SSAS on. It's way more stable. That's for sure. As long as we can reach orbit, we are doing great. Okay, slightly problematic. Wait, let's see how far we can go. Nope, we didn't. We didn't even go higher than the last time. Okay, how about I build my own wings? How about that? I feel like this would be enough. And then for this, I can just do like I don't know, one of these. Nope, it's too big one of these something like that boom okay okay this is this is kind of getting me excited this this build right here so this is mark 6 of the world's smallest SSTO Let's see if you can take off, because totally new design, to totally new wing design, so this would be a, fir a good first test.
But like, okay, okay, this thing works. Hey, it's working, it's working way better, way better than I thought. Or way better than I expected. 're gonna go to the left yep we're gonna take off like this because this is a little like there's a little ditch right there or maybe we can take off using the the hill like this Okay, if this thing can make it to orbit as is, that would be insane. Come on, music. I know you want to start playing. Come on. Play, music, play. Well, I wouldn't even... Ah, oh, there we go. Yes. Yes, we are in orbit. And we might even break 100,000 meters. Okay, let's do a quick size check. Yeah, if you guys don't want to, like, look at this. Look how small it is compared to the Kerbin. Okay, we can't end the video without doing a quick top speed check. A top speed atmospheric check. So let's do that right now. Let's see how fast can this thing go in the atmosphere. Just full beams, just going straight. Okay, full beams. Okay, I'm expecting at least, at least 1200 meters per second, at least. Oh no, it's not even gonna get close to that, man. Oh, are we gonna reach a thousand? Okay, a thousand. A th oh, it didn't even reach a thousand. No way. It, it went to like 959. You know what? That's not even bad at all. I'll take it. So yeah, this is... I think this might be the world's smallest SSTO plane. Maybe. Do not... Do not quote me on that. There is probably a video online with somebody using some magical way to launch somebody into space with something smaller than this. But I think this is the smallest one. The smallest, well, by far this is the coolest looking smallest SSTO, for sure. Like this thing looks amazing. Very, uh, very agile, very twitchy, very controllable as well. But look at this. Very controllable. I could probably land this on the runway. Wait, I wonder if you can evacuate while it's flying. Hmm. You can! What? Oh! Oh no! 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 We're cooked! Wait, deploy the chutes! Wait, no! No, the chutes aren't deployed. Uh. Valentina, I'm sorry, you're so cooked. Wait, so this concludes this video. I hope you guys had fun watching me build this. And I will see you guys on the next one.